Hi there, it's Stuart Palmer here with some hopefully helpful advice about the HSC reference sheet for advanced and extension. This is the HSC reference sheet for the year 2020. Please be aware that NESA might make changes to this sheet for future years. Always download and print the most recent up-to-date version relevant to your cohort. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the most of the reference sheet. This is where you find it on the NESA website. The good news is that it contains four pages of really useful formulas and facts that you can look up during an assessment task or an examination, rather than having to rely upon your unreliable memory. The bad news is that the information from Advanced, Extension 1 and Extension 2 is all mixed up together on the sheet in a very random order. This is page 1, page 2, page 3, page 4. By the way, if you are doing Advanced without Extension, you can forget about page 4 there is nothing there for you. It's all about extension one and two. There are also some things on pages one, two, and three that are not going to be useful for you, the advanced without extension student. I suggest you put boxes around them like this as a reminder to not go there during the exam. You could do the same thing for extension two with a different color. During your high stakes assessment tasks and examinations, you don't want to be wasting time looking for something. So you need to get very familiar with the contents of each page. The information on the pages of the reference sheet is fairly crowded, so there's not much room to add notes. Here is a suggestion. Get two sheets of A4 paper and attach them with sticky tape to page one. Put the sticky tape on the back, not the front. Now you have plenty of room to make notes, examples, diagrams, etc. Do the same thing for page 2 and 3 and 4 if you need to. If you trim a little bit off the left and right edges, it will fold nicely and fit inside a plastic sleeve. You can keep these in the folder you take to school every day. I love these erasable pens, but whatever you do, don't leave it out in the sun. It fades. This will be really handy during years 11 and 12. Fill in what you already know and add to it as you go. You will get a sense that you are making progress, getting closer to the end of the course. When you are doing homework and studying, you won't be doing that time-wasting flick, flick, flick thing, looking through your textbook for some formula or something else that you learnt three months ago and then promptly forgot. You might want to add some notes about when to use the formula, certainly, but also when not to use the formula. For example, we see a lot of students using the quadratic formula to solve quadratic equations when they would have been better off just factorising. Here's three examples of that and one example where you would use the quadratic formula. This is what I call using a sledgehammer to break an egg using a very complicated formula for a very simple question. In some sections of the reference sheet, the information is very tightly jam-packed together, so you may want to spread it out on your extra page of notes like this. Plan carefully. Some students seem to think that they know the product rule or the quotient rule, so they don't bother looking it up during the HSC exam. The comments from the markers indicate otherwise. Many students put a minus sign where the plus sign should be, and vice versa. Look it up. Get it right. By the time you get to the trial HSC and the actual HSC, these will be very helpful and useful documents. You could pin them to the wall above the desk where you study at home or elsewhere, saying, look at me, I'm a math nerd and proud of it. You will find, however, that there are some things which could have appeared on the reference sheet, but for some reason didn't make the cut. 
For these, I highly recommend a document like this. You build it up as you work through the course. Don't leave it to the end. So you could put on here everything you find that is not on the reference sheet, or you could also include things that are on the reference sheet and shade them a different color so you know which is which. This is something you should build up as you work through the course. Don't leave it to the end. So during year 11 and 12, keep asking yourself, is this on the reference sheet or not? If so, which page and which column? If not, I'm going to need to memorize this for the exams. So it needs to go on my list of things to memorize. So for the 2020 version of the HSC reference sheet, these are the things that belong in extension one and extension two. On page one, in the left hand column, down near the bottom, there it is. But the little bit underneath it about the equation of a circle, that's advanced, not extension one. On page two, there's a large section at the bottom of the left column and a smaller section at the bottom of the right column, which are purely extension one, not advanced. On page three, in the left column down the bottom, that's extension one. And in the right column towards the bottom, there's a little bit of extension one and a tiny piece of extension two. But underneath that, that's the trapezoidal rule, that's advanced. And page four, as I mentioned earlier, nothing from advanced. It's all extension one and extension two. But remember what I said, this could change from year to year. Nessa has already made a couple of changes to this reference sheet. They could do the same thing in future years. So please check carefully and if in doubt, ask your teacher. Hope this helps. Bye now.